This is one of the newest developments in the city of Leewood, and not only is it minutes away from all the best shops, restaurants, and things to do along 135th Street in Johnson County, but it's also just minutes away from State Line in Martin City, so you've got the best of both worlds. This is a brand new luxury resort-like community called Regents Park by Lambie Homes, who's been an esteemed builder in Kansas City for over 45 years, and in this video, we're gonna break down the entire community layout what the plans for this community are, the location, community, the floor plans, the pricing, everything that you need to know about buying or building a home right here in Regents Park. Part number one has to be the location, and quite frankly, it does not get any better than this. Not only are you close to all the best shops, restaurants, etc., up and down 135th Street in Leewood and Overland Park, but you're also close to State Line, which is just a couple minutes away. On the other side, you've got Martin City, so plenty of other shops, restaurants, etc. And here's here's a drone shot of what it looks like. You've got the Lowe's right there as well, which is also convenient if you're just moving in. And not to mention, if you are into golf, you've got the Country Club of Leewood, which is basically across the street. You've got Lionsgate down 135th Street. You've got the St. Andrews Golf Course on the other side of I-69 and plenty of other things to do in the area. Prairie fires down the street. You've got Corbin Park, Deer Creek Woods, and the list just goes on and on and on. Now, the last thing about this location is that one of the things that makes it unique, it's going to be very hard to find new construction, whether it's villas, single family homes, whatever you're looking for. If it's new construction, it's going to be hard to find this centrally located in the city of Leewood. You've got a lot of developments the farther and farther south you go. I think that this is like the Goldilocks. This is the sweet spot in the middle of everything. Now, before we move on to the community, we break down all the different types of housing here, the amenities and the, the general layout of the community. If you haven't met yet, then welcome to the channel. My name is Nick Massa. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Kansas and Missouri. I'm a big fan of new construction. We've done a ton of videos showcasing some of the best new home communities around Kansas City. Regents Park is certainly no exception. So if you're interested in this community, you can see the plat map and kind of follow along throughout this video. The floor plans. There are also 3D renders that you can walk through and kind of tour some of these floor plans to get an idea if these would make sense for you. So if you're watching this on YouTube, there's a link down below in the description where you can click on that. You can access that community website. And lastly, I owe a big thank you to Shelly, who's the on-site agent here at Regents Park. This video would not have been possible without her. If you have any questions about buying, building a home right here in Regents Park, my contact info is down below in the description on YouTube, or you can reach out to Shelly. Her info is all on the community website send a message. This is still early on in the development, right? So there are plenty of different lot options that you'll see that are still available now, but as soon as those models and as soon as some of these lots start selling, it's going to be harder to reserve some of those. So that's why it's important to reach out now in case you have any interest in buying or building a home right here in Regents Park. Part number two is all about the community. Now, here's what the plat map looks like, just so you get an idea of what we're gonna break down. You can see right now where we're where we're at is with the Twin Villas, right? So that's what the focus of this video is on. But this community is unique because you've got quite a different variety of housing options. So you've got the luxury apartments up front, the lower level will be commercial. So you'll have some stores, potentially restaurants that you could walk to inside of this community. You've also got uh, townhomes, which we've seen quite a few of those go in around Johnson County. And we're talking about very nice townhomes, most likely with some very similar features that complement some of the some of the finishes that you'll see on the twin villas. But one of the really nice things about how this whole community is situated is you've got four long cul-de-sacs, which is which is really rare to find in the city of Leewood. Sometimes it's hard to get that past the city's approval, and it's just one of the things that makes this really unique. Now, the second important thing about this location is you are tucked behind 135th Street, right? So you've got quick access to all those shops, restaurants, et cetera, we talked about during the location part of the video, but you've also got the privacy, which can be kind of hard to find around very highly sought after locations just like this that are close to everything. So uh, if you are in the Twin Villas, which again, this is the focus of this video, you've got the luxury apartments down the road, you've got the townhomes that are kind of like a, a sound and visual barrier between you and all of this privacy back here. And then lastly, you'll notice on that plat map online, you've got so much green space throughout this community. And that's just another major advantage is you're gonna have trails throughout. And when we get to the amenities, you'll see a little bit more what those will look like 
here in the next year or so, as soon as they're developed. And then one thing that's absolutely worth mentioning is that you're gonna have a pretty tight-knit community here, right? So it's not like you've got hundreds and hundreds of different doors in this community. You've got 82 unique doors, and of course, each of the double-sided villas has one of those doors. So the four different cul-de-sacs, very tight-knit community. I'm sure there will be tons of different community events for all of the residents here. And of course, just having all of those amenities to yourself, the trails throughout the community. And again, being tucked in this corner of Leewood, Kansas, you've got a little bit more privacy. You've got trees throughout. You've got the Tuscany Reserve right behind you, which has some absolutely gorgeous landscaping. This is certainly a place to be. Now, when it comes to the HOA, those start at $350 per month, which is uh, pretty on par with what you'll see with Twin Villa communities and maintenance provided communities around Johnson County. What that covers is soft maintenance. So snow removal above two inches, they'll mow for you as well as winterize, de-winterize the sprinkler system and all of the stuff that just makes living here really convenient compared to buying a large single family home and having to, having to maintain it, right? One of the major things about living here is you're next to everything. It's a convenient kind of lifestyle. And of course, you've got the maintenance provided on top of that. Now, part number three is the demising wall. So if you've looked at twin villas, there are plenty that are popping up all around the Kansas City area. Lambie is the exclusive builder in the villa section of the community. You've probably seen some of their twin villas around Kansas City, at least in the Johnson County area. One of the reasons that they're so popular is you've got the convenience, you've got a, a home on each side of this demising wall, but one of the most frequently asked questions is what goes into this? How do I know that I've got privacy? How do I know that there's safety involved? What if there's some sort of fire or something happening on the other side of the wall? What is in place to protect me? And I wanna break down exactly what goes into that here in this third section of the video. We'll kind of walk through this and on the other side of this demising wall, you've got the exact same setup and I'll, I'll show you what that looks like with some clips on the screen as we go throughout this. So you've got drywall on the outside of the studs, two by four framing with insulation between, and then you've got an air gap. So the air gap is important. You've got it on both sides because sound cannot travel without any sort of vibration. That air gap, both on this side of the wall and the other side of the wall, prevents any of that vibration. So drywall, two by four framing, insulation, you've got a two inch air gap, so sound can't travel, there's no vibration. And then the green that you're seeing behind me, this is a fire barrier. And as you can see in the footage, it goes all the way from the floor to the roof line. This is to make sure that you're protected, that there's a lot of safety. And if anything, God forbid, were to happen on the other side of this wall, that you living on this side of the wall are completely safe. And that's before we discuss some of the uh, additional upgrades and additional features that goes into this home, like the commercial grade sprinklers, which is something we'll talk about here in the next section. So that's the full breakdown. Drywall, two by four framing with some insulation. You've got the air gap, so you've got complete noise and privacy. You're not hearing any noise from the other side of the wall. You've got the fire barrier for safety. And then on the other side, you've got the two inch barrier, the studs with two by four framing, insulation, and then of course, drywall. Now part number four is all about the floor plans. This is one example of them. And for these twin villas, you can get quite a bit of space if you'd like. So the floor plans go anywhere from 2,500 square feet all the way up to over 4,000 square feet with the model being very, very well sized. So if you, one thing that I really like about the twin villas is again, all the engineering, all the thought that goes into them, you can see that from this angle, it looks like this is just a standard, you know, single family home that's detached. And then of course, as you walk around to the other side, you can kind of see the specs for this floor plan. Now you can find all the floor plans online. The website, if you're watching this on YouTube, is linked down below in the description. This side being the wind field is 4,000 square feet. So you've got the front entry garage. And again, this is, this is one of the features that creates a little bit more privacy. And then as you come around uh, to the side of the house, to this larger floor plan, you've got the side entry. And they were able to fit, it looks like a three car garage on this side, just because the size of this plan, the other uh, side just has a two car garage. And then of course, you're seeing some of the top of the line finishes, the uh, concrete tile roofing, which is very on brand for this area of Leewood. Uh, it's one of the notable characteristics that you'll see as you just drive through the streets and even, even on some of the retail and commercial buildings. Of course, you've got that demising wall that we just talked about goes all the way up to the roof line. And just to show you the other side and how this breaks down, you've got drywall, the stud, 
that's the two inch air gap right here. Um, this is the fire barrier. And then of course it repeats on the other side. But really you've got quite a few different floor plans to choose from. I know it's a little bit dark as we're walking in here, but that's one of the beauties of new construction is it's constantly evolving. So just to give you an idea of how this lays out, you've got a nice bright open space, plenty of windows. And you'll note that these, these are black windows, which are typically almost two times more expensive than white windows that you'd see. I believe they're Anderson windows, which are, <laughs> which are quite an upgrade. So again, you're seeing some of the top of the line finishes that are going into these homes. Of course, these sliders are certainly upgraded. They're not the traditional sliders that you would see going out to a patio. And then I believe there are going to be quite a few of these patios that are uh, either stamped concrete or they're diamond cut which is a pretty nice feature. Now, a couple of the other finishes that you'll see around Regents Park, you've got four side acrylic stucco. The reason that's important, it's a little bit more, it's quite a bit more durable than traditional stucco that you'd see. And typically in new home communities, you only see, you only see stucco on the elevation, so the front of the home. This being four sides, they're putting a little bit more money into it. And again, a kind of uh, in line with quite a few different homes in Leewood, they, they look very, very, very nice. They're very well done. And the stucco is one way that they can ensure that that's the case here. And then you've got other finishes like a trim package that is upgraded throughout the home. You've got, you've got quartz, silestone countertops, and then some of the bathrooms, the kitchen, et cetera. And the list goes on and on and on. And those are just the base specs. So you can always upgrade any of these things that you see fit. You'll get to design the entire home. And that's one of the advantages of working with Lambie Homes, who's been doing this for well over 45 years around Kansas City. Now, it's important if you're interested in any of these floor plans, Regents Park as a whole, it's important to click that link below if you're watching this on YouTube. It'll take you to the community website where you can see all the different floor plans, all the variety. They also have 3D tours that you can actually walk through. And they're, they're 3D tour renders because these are all brand new plans that are being developed. And this specific model that we're in right now, some of the other spec homes being built right now, those are anticipated to be open and finished sometime this fall, which is really exciting. And we'll certainly be back out here to take a look. But if you've got any interest, if you wanna see what these floor plans look like, if you wanna go through some of the 3D tours, click the link below in the description on YouTube, and then check them out on the community website. Now the final part of the video is about the amenities. One of the, one of the major reasons why you would wanna to move to a community like this. So we'll go through each of them, but as of right now, they're slated to be developed and open sometime next summer in 2025. You've got a beautiful luxury resort style pool. Here's a rendering for what that looks like. You've got a clubhouse. I'm sure you've got a pavilion there as well. You'll have pickleball courts. And of course, some of the trails throughout this community will connect to several other subdivisions around this area, which makes taking the dog on a walk, especially long walk going for a run, is this is really one of the best places in Johnson County to do it. Now, you'll also have a dog park, which is just located right behind the, uh, the model homes that we featured throughout this video, which is really convenient. I'm a big dog person and my dog loves to run. He could run for hours and hours and hours. And this is a community that would make wearing out a dog like that way easier. And then finally, like we talked about this location, it's second to none, one of the best locations. There's no shortage of things to do, places you could go out to eat, entertainment venues around this area. So in addition to all of the amenities that you have on site, you've got all those golf courses around, all those restaurant shops and entertainment spots that make this really unique. Now, that's all for this video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button below. Subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this. Once these models are open, we'll come back and tour the finished product. And of course, if you're interested, make sure you click the link down below in the description. That way you can see the community website, the plat map, the floor plans, and the 3D tours. Make sure to reach out to either myself or Shelly. Her contact info is on the website. Mine is down below in the description. And if you enjoyed this video, click on one of the videos on the screen, either the one YouTube thinks you would enjoy the most or our playlist of all the new home community videos that we've made on this channel. So click either there or there, and I'll see you on the other side.